Now the starting group for the visitors. Duran is out there with Griffin. Then it's Holiday. Then there's Okafor. And it's Redick in at the shooting guard position. And Holiday, here we go. Plays it up and banks it in. And that put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Here's Fournier. Left side, Batum. Dishes to Fournier. No good with the layup. And here comes the break. Here's Reddick. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Reddick is just an unbelievable three-point shooter. It's not just his volume. It's his pinpoint accuracy. By the end of last season, Reddick was 40% from behind the arc for his career. And for Reddick, he knew what his NBA career would be like way back in 2005. Clark, I recall him saying, I, I think I'll be a role player like 80% of the players in the league. I, I don't expect to be a star. I'll just shoot. I'll, I'll be a team player. Yeah, and he's exactly right. He was highly decorated in college, but every scout knew his strength was shooting the basketball, and J.J. knew it as well. Mm -hmm. Now here's Parker. A 35-point game for him in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. I caught up with Coach Dave Yeager. He knows that the challenge for his team in this game will be to slow down Blake Griffin, who he described as instant momentum. With Griffin being such a handful physically, they plan to limit his ability to get any space around the basket and hopefully cut down those powerful drives toward the rim. And thank you, Doris. Here's Holiday. Rudy Gobert picking up that last basket. And the wide open shot from Griffin. And Boris Diaw picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Boris Dia. One shot. One shot. That one misses for Okafor. Gone two for four from the field so far today. It's Parker with the drive. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. The 10-footer. Passes it to Noah. There's the dish to Parker. Goes back up. And Durant sends it back. Reddick against Batum. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Reddick. All right, a moment here to check out stats for Griffin. Last season, he played outstanding. Fifth in scoring, 11th in field goal percentage. And his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And clearly one of the dominant scores we have in this league. And that one's good. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do about that move. That's just good offense. They were all over him, and he still managed to drain. And Holiday kicks to Griffin. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Noah with a screen on Holiday. Gobert the screen. Here's Parker. That's short off the rim. Gone four of five from the field so far. Reddick passes to Holiday. No good. Gobert with the defensive effort. In this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Gobert the screen. Here's Fournier. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. 
Gobert can't hit. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Now here's Durant. They lead by four. Can't get it to go. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. It. No doubt about it. You cannot let up defensively just because he missed out. Here's Fournier, covered by Reddick. Griffin with the steal. And Holiday kicks to Durant. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Noah the screen. Fournier dishes to Parker. And how good a playmaker has Tony Parker been? One of the best in recent history. The all-time leader in assists for the Spurs over his 14 years there. Just a crafty guy with the ball in his hand. Tony Parker. Two shots. And that one falls for Parker. And, of course, Tony Parker. So big for San Antonio in those championship runs. But word on the street was that Spurs coach Greg Popovich didn't always go easy on Tony. He really pushed him to the limit. Yeah, you know, it started back when Tony was invited to the Spurs summer camp before the 2001 draft. One of the scouts was really physical with Tony, really gave him a hard time, and that was really the start of his maturation process in learning the deal with the NBA. Now Holiday following Durant's three-point attempt. Picked by Okafor. Durant attacking. And at last, they get one to fall. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. And, you know, getting back to Popovich's relationship with Tony Parker, Pop made the decision to draft Parker. So he obviously saw something. But Pop's a perfectionist, and if you're going to play point guard for him, you've got to deliver consistently. Al Jefferson, he's checked in for Okafor gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. And Fournier kicks to Parker. There's the killer two-handed slam. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that mm -hmm. lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. Now here is Holiday. Here's Griffin. Noah with the block. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Here's Fournier. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Launches it. And the rebound goes to Griffin. And talking about Tony Parker, Pop's tough love with him really paid off. Tony eventually became incredibly consistent, culminating with him being named the finals MVP back in 07. 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Noah with a screen for Parker. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Parker's got seven points. Love the aggressive attitude. I mean, no invitation needed for him to take it strong to the basket. Jefferson passing to Carter Williams. The feed to George. Knocked loose. Parker with it. Now defended by Carter Williams. Carter Williams against Parker. It's tipped. But they recover it. Four on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity. That's good. And that evens things out. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. I mean, Tony Parker's just showing us how it's done with that beautiful shot of his. Carter Williams kicks the long. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Love's got his first bucket in this one. Now, Parker, he's got nine. Gobert, the screen. And Parker, here we go. And Jefferson sends it back. And now, here's Durant, the fast break opportunity. Love dishes to Carter Williams. Jefferson passing to George. 
Jefferson setting the pick for George. And he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. Well, guys, no secret that Al Jefferson has never been known for his defense. Clark, mostly viewed as an offensive player. Yeah, he really is strong down in the low post. But last season, Jefferson went out of his way to change that no defense perception of him. Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Durant. And George, here we go. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Punches it down with pop. And rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they are not backing off at all, are they? Now here's Parker. Rebound love. Been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. No good. Great tee that time from Batum. Thing in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Noah, the screen. Parker, it's deflected. Here's George. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And, Greg, I love the fact he's always in control, even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. We've got 128 left in the first. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Over in the corner, Batum. He feeds it to Fournier. Just five to shoot. Gobert, the screen. Will it go? No good off the front iron. And whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the lean is probably not the best option on that shot. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And, Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. Here's Fournier. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And the call will be against Tony Parker. That's his first foul. 40 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Carter Williams, and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on Parker. And when it comes to Michael Carter Williams, guys, I feel like people either love him or they don't buy him at all. I mean, he has the size. He's a good athlete. He plays hard. But he's also had some injuries, and he's been very inconsistent at times. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Loop shot. The free throw drops for Carter Williams. Well, going back to Michael Carter Williams, he is a polarizing prospect. For example, Greg, and you played the position, he gives you a lot of assists, but he also averages over four turnovers a game. That was just last year. Yeah, that's true. And he gives you plenty of rebounds and steals as well. But sometimes the shot also, Kevin, not necessarily where you'd like it to be. I don't, at times, he couldn't throw a rock in the ocean. This guy just really struggled. But the talent is there. It's just going to take some time for him to mature. And the jury's really still out on the bucket, just not well protected. But still, he doesn't convert too often. That's been the story with him. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Carter Williams. Inside, it's stolen by Gobert. Domination in the